Happy Pride Month. It's June. Oh, yeah. Happy Pride Month. Thank Halfway through my ride, I just put my hair all the way up. We're just gonna deal with it. Good morning, I was about to say it's Monday morning. It's actually Tuesday, because yesterday was Memorial Day. I've had a nice long, I guess almost week, or like six days since I got back from my trip. It was wonderful. I spent a lot of time editing. I still have a lot more editing to do today. And just kind of getting my life back together. We did a bunch of stuff to our living room this weekend, which I will show you. Also, good morning, Layla. That is her favorite spot as of recently, but I was really feeling, especially after the weekend and just after traveling for the last couple weeks, that I just need like a routine. I need to get back into my routine. I actually haven't been exercising really at all lately. I mean, I went on a hike in Laguna and I think that was the first time I've done any exercise in a couple months. I go through seasons for sure and I was in a season of rest and now I'm feeling like movement is a good thing. So I did a Peloton class this morning. The instructor was Sam Yo. I've never done a class with him before, but he was actually really wonderful. I really enjoyed the class. It was a 20 minute 90s ride and yeah, made my green smoothie. I love this freaking green smoothie. I don't know what it is. Like it just makes me feel so healthy even though it's just a smoothie. It's not that big of a deal, but when I drink it, I'm just like, ah. Health. So yeah, this week is going to be pretty busy because it's only a four day week. So like, I don't know if anyone else feels this way, but sometimes having a long weekend is nice, but sometimes it stresses you out more because then it just gives you, it like gives you extra work to do Tuesday through Friday. But I really wish that we lived in like a three to four day work week type of society, but you know, capitalism, so. Anyways, I am going to do some editing today. I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. I have an orthodontist appointment at some point this week. I don't remember when that is, so I need to call and find that out. It might be today, honestly, I have no idea. So if that happens, Happens, then we will deal with it as it comes. <laughs> we do have friends coming over for the first time this weekend, like our group of friends or like Drew's group of friends that are also my group of friends. I got a question recently in a comment that was like, why do you never show Drew's friends? Something like that is like, because Drew's not a U YouTuber. <laughs> This is my channel. I don't know, I find it interesting that people think that because they don't see Drew's friends on YouTube that like he doesn't have them or something. I don't know, very bizarre. And I'm just loving seeing everyone's, like thank you by the way for the response to reuniting with Alexa and just seeing friends again in general, even my friends in LA. Like I agree with you, I'm right there with you. I also think that it's just so joyful seeing people reunite. It's just so, so wonderful. I've been loving watching vlogs where people reunite and like Instagram posts and stuff. It just makes me really happy. I'm gonna finish my smoothie and then I'll show you around like with some of the things that we did in the house. We bought a bunch of new plants this weekend, a bunch of new plants. This is what happens when Drew and I have a weekend of rest. We just buy plants. Also forgot to mention that at the time I'm filming this, my friend Sierra is currently in labor and she's been in labor for like the last couple days and I'm so excited for her. So I just wanted to send some love to Sierra and I'm just so, so excited. I can't wait when the time is right and everything is like aligned and safe to go meet baby girl. I'm just so proud of my friend. I've just been looking at Instagram this morning being like, ah, oh, you go queen. Layla can hear some children playing outside and she doesn't like that. So she came from over there to over here to protect me. They're just children, it's, everything's okay. Yeah, they're just trying to have fun. You should try it. <laughs> thank you for protecting me, thank you, thank you. 
I can't get over this bun, this like Cinderella bun. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, okay, so starting with this room, I don't think we changed anything in this room. Maybe we did. We had to move the Monstera upstairs for the time being because Drew ended up separating the Monstera because it was way too overcrowded for the pot, but now they're not doing so good, so I wouldn't recommend it, but we're putting that upstairs because there's more sun. So that's just up there for the time being. So usually there's a Monstera here. We have our basil plant. This is the only herb that has survived. It's doing okay. I'd like for it to grow faster, but we're getting somewhere. We bought a new plant. I actually can't remember what this is called because it didn't say anywhere at the plant store that we went to. We went to the plant stand, by the way, in Phoenix. It's kind of near the airport. It's like South Phoenix, I guess. Um, it was pretty good. It was highly recommended and it was outside. It was very, very hot. So wouldn't recommend that part, but like in the winter, amazing. So we got this plant. It's huge. So it's in this little corner right here. I think everything else is still the same over here and then over here we actually switched some things out so right here used to be that little like i don't even know what it's called little like side table thing it's like a little cabinet um but we ended up switching that because this is the desk that we bought on craigslist or facebook marketplace i mean for our makeover for our guest room slash drew's office but unfortunately like it's just not a comfortable desk to sit at drew works from home and his knees kept hitting like these parts and he actually like made himself bleed the other day and he was like no i can't take it anymore so he ordered a desk from ikea that's just like a flat <laughs> desk and it's much better for him he has it like all set up already and so we just decided to put this down here because why not so i really like it it's like an old antique desk and i think it looks kind of cool it looks like apothecary vibes a little bit so we have our Roomba and then we have one of the monsteras this is like one of the things that he separated we have one that's propagating because it just looks really cool we have our speaker we have a candlestick and then we have a couple new plants this is an ivy i think this is a fern so this is like our little new area which is kind of cute we'll probably put some more stuff on there eventually and then i moved the yucca tree over here this was actually a gift from our landlord which is so nice she gave it to us when we moved in she's very kind and then over here we just added some hanging plants so this is actually a child of one of our other plant that has since been propagated planted and is now thriving this is our pothos neon which is just like absolutely doing amazing we love her she also has a child over there oh yeah there's another pothos we got for this little shelf it's just very plant vibes in here and then we moved this thing it used to be over there but it's over here and we actually like it because it matches the what is that called? TV stand? Again, more of that Monstera plant. Like when I tell you it was overcrowded, it was overcrowded. So this is another one that we planted. That one's doing great. This is some um, silver pothos that we're propagating that we're eventually gonna plant. It's just sitting in some water. It's in a nice lovely vase. And then we have this, which I think it's called a croton, croton, croton. I don't know exactly how to say it, but I've killed one of these before, so wish me luck. And then this guy, which we've had forever which I don't know what's going on here, but the rest of it's doing great. We actually took off three of those propagation bulbs off the wall because I actually dropped one of them in the sink and it shattered. <laughs> I was rinsing them out and I broke it. So I was like, well, now we have an uneven number. So I took two off the wall and put them in my office. And then we just added this stuff that we already had. So there we go. That's what's new, exciting things. <laughs> I swear this lighting in this bathroom will be the death of me. Now <laughs> it's just so orange. Okay, whatever. Hi, it's now a lot later. It's like 2 p.m. I have been editing all morning. I had lunch with Drew. We chatted a bit, played some Donkey Kong on the Switch on his lunch break. We have been like super into the Super Nintendo pack thing on the Switch. I don't know, I'm not a gamer girl, but I used to play Donkey Kong on Super Nintendo when I was younger and we've been playing it and it's so nostalgic. It's literally like unlocked a part of my brain that I forgot was there. It's been very nice actually. I've been trying to find more things other than you know social media to keep my brain busy so i've been doing like that and some reading but i'm just getting ready to film i actually wasn't really planning on filming i can't remember if i mentioned this or not but earlier i was talking about a dentist appointment that i have and i had to find out if i had an orthodontist appointment as well and my orthodontist appointment is also tomorrow i'll have to talk about my invisalign experience later on because part of it's my fault because i didn't really wear it as much as i was supposed to but i was told that it was going to be like a year and a half and it's been four and a half years 
I've had Invisalign for four and a half years. I'm over it. I'm so, so over it. So the last time I went to the orthodontist, they were like, okay, so we're gonna start you on a new set. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I'm literally done. Like I'm done, I don't wanna do it anymore. <laughs> I'm literally done, it's been four and a half years and now you're telling me it's gonna be like another year? No. So the thing is like my teeth look exactly the same as they did three years ago. <laughs> like I just really wanna be done. And they keep trying to like fix my bite and stuff. But the thing is I've already paid, like I paid it off. I paid it off years ago. So it's not like they're making any more money. I know they're just genuinely trying to help. I think the problem was with my bite. But anyways, that's a very long story. That's unnecessary. So I'm doing my usual today. I'm doing like business on the top, party on the bottom, which is great fun. This top I actually got from Cotton On when Drew and I were in LA. It is very small. It is a lot more cropped than I anticipated, but the dressing rooms weren't open, so I'm kind of stuck with it. So I'll just wear it for like filming days and stuff, and then just my typical leggings. The ones that I always lounge in are by the brand Colsey from Target. They're amazing. And then some socks, because my feet were cold. Um, my accessories are this pair of earrings. I want to say I got these from H&M. Honestly, years ago like years ago I've had them forever this necklace is from Madewell Drew got it for me for Christmas um, my rings are both from Etsy and that's it so I've got to film some videos I also have to film an Instagram brand deal for like a, it's just stories so it's not like a photo or anything and like I said even though it was a long weekend all it's done honestly is just made me busier today so let's try to knock some of this out fun little side note over the weekend I also spray painted my lamp and got it all set up in here I thrifted this in my last thrifting video like the one before I went with Alexa it just looks so good I'm seriously obsessed with it I can't believe that I found one of these at my thrift store They're they're being sold online for like really a lot of money at the moment. So I'm gonna turn it on. I put like a cool little color changing light bulb in here. No, that's not what I want. <laughs> so yeah, you can change the colors from like reds to oranges, yellows, purples, blues, greens. Ugh, how much fun is that? The cutest, literally the cutest thing ever. It just completes everything. It's like three hours later. Ugh, I'm, okay. I'm just having a moment, I'm just gonna be honest. I'm having like one of those days where I'm like, why do I try on clothes again for my job when I have body image issues? <laughs> I'm just having like a low body image day, but like I feel cute. Definitely. It's just hard like when you when your body changes, which is a very very normal natural part of life It's just hard to adjust sometimes and you struggle with that sort of like internalized Fat phobia if you will where you're just like my body needs to stay the same as it did when it was 16 at 33 Which is not a thing, but I'm feeling better now that I'm sitting down and talking I also just saw Moo sitting in the closet He made his way into a closet and is laying down on a comforter and it's actually very cute so that gave me a boost of serotonin and now we're gonna film our last video which is a thrift haul from all the stuff that I bought when I was in Orange County which I think I mentioned and that's gonna make me happy because it's gonna like you know give me memories from the trip and that was such a fun thrift trip I'm just frustrated with myself and I'm just having one of those days so I thought about not even telling the camera just being like breeze past it just pick up the camera when you're feeling better which I do most of the time but I also just want to normalize that like meh days happen. I don't know. I'm just in like a low swing. I also am kind of hungry So I need to like wrap this up soon so we can go make some dinner. I think we're going to make Gigi Hadid's spicy Vodka pasta I think is what it's called. I'm feeling actually better. Honestly, I'm feeling better after Talking about that. I literally just feel like it's gone now. Like I let it out. It's not that bad I'm just having like a meh day and when I'm having those moments or not even the day just a mood and when I'm having those moments I think it's important to recognize them not like force positivity, but just be like, okay This is the thing that's happening like kind of non-judgmentally just be like, yeah All right, and I'm just gonna let it pass and like look I already feel so much better. Maybe call a friend if you're feeling the same way and ask if they're in a position to listen to you vent or talk to a therapist or a mom or a grandma or whoever you have in your life. But yeah, like I already feel kind of better. Iconic. Okay, I'm done filming. I'm feeling a lot better. It's, you know, a little later than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I went and changed, got into my comfies. I decided to put on this shirt that my friend Full Body Becca on Instagram makes, and it says, All bodies are good bodies. I just needed this reminder today. I love this shirt so much. I think 
She still sells them? I'm not 100% sure, but I will link their Instagram down below and then they have the link to their shop as well. So you can check it out. Oh, there's Layla, she's barking. I gotta go downstairs. Let's make some dinner. I'm pouring a glass of wine, cause we made it. I found out why she was barking, so she would get a treat. Moo is having a treat as well. You wanna make some pasta? Yeah. So, tonight on the menu, we are making Gigi Hadid's spicy vodka pasta. Okay, you can't see that, whatever, just take my word for it. In other words, it's just like penne alla vodka. Like, it's really not different <laughs> than any other penne alla vodka. I think she just like showed herself making it. So I think people think that like she invented it. She I invented liked that it. sound. That's how you know it's a good wine. It's wine o'clock. Wine and pasta and Donkey Kong. Well, how was I ever in a bad mood earlier? Danky King. Danky King. Yes! Pour it up! Pour. It smells good. You did great. Cheers. Cheers to Tuesday. Oh, it's only Tuesday. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, good. Really good. We got the Juggernaut made in. Oh. I thought that said Hillside, California. That says Hillside Cat. It's made in Clarksburg, California. There you go. So, very tasty. Pinky out, always. So we are cooking up the garlic and onion in olive oil. That's the first step. Then we add the tomato paste, cream, and vodka, and like make the sauce. Add the noodles, right? Yeah, we should probably add. This water is freaking boiling. We're using mezzi rigatoni. You can use like shells. You can use penne. We added the tomato paste and then it became darker in color, kind of, I don't know. And now we're gonna add the heavy cream. Oh. And like stir it in together and then we'll add the vodka. Yum. I'm on pasta duty. We have our Italian music going. I feel like we're pretty good at that. Like if we're like making Italian food, we'll play like a Frank Sinatra playlist or this one, I think it's called Italian cooking playlist. Do, yeah. yeah. We're gonna add some red pepper flakes. Not a whole lot because this boy has heartburn. <laughs> but I like spicy. I know we do like spicy. And then we'll add salt and pepper too. I just put in some garlic bread and we're also gonna make some salad. I'm so excited. Then once all of that is combined, you remove the sauce from the heat and you wait for the pasta to finish cooking. You take a quarter cup of the pasta water, add that to the sauce with butter and Parmesan cheese and then you're done. We're gonna chop up some basil. We don't have enough of our basil plant <laughs> to garnish it yet, but we'll get there. Beautiful. Oh my God, it's gonna be so good. I'm now on salad duty. So I'm just gonna do like a Caesar salad with spring mix because that's all we have. I went to Costco with my mom recently and got crispy onions and croutons which I put on every single salad, so we're set. We're gonna do some Ken's Caesar dressing and we're ready to eat. I worked at Italian restaurants for the majority of my high school and college age years and this song is quite triggering actually. <laughs> So this is a lot of food. <laughs> Look how good this looks. Fresh basil on top. Mm, mm, mm. Here's our little date night. We have a third wheel who has joined us. Move. <laughs> and of course, always, always right by dad because she knows that that's the best chance of getting food. I've always been a strict parent. Even like when she was little, she used to hang around my dad because she knew she could get food off my dad. She sits right by my mom when we're at my mom's or she, she never sits by me because she knows. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm the strict one, he's the softie. And now for my favorite part of date night, playing Donkey Kong. What is this one? Uh, Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, Diddy's Quest. Here we go, that's what we're doing. I forgot to show earlier some of the plants that we got for outside. We got these flowers, we got these flowers. We have this plant that just was watered, that's why it's sitting there. And then we have these flowers as well. And those are hanging up on this hook and this hook. So we have like one flower thing on each hook out here now. Goes along with the lights very nicely. Ignore the dog poop. And it's just so much cuter out here. We've been thinking about moving this like into the garage because it's freaking hot. I'm like almost sweating as I'm sitting here talking about this. We'll see what ends up happening. Like maybe we'll put the blow up pool there permanently for the summer. We'll see. We're gonna go upstairs, watch the rest of our show. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.